Hi, my name is Phoenix Vogel. I'm here with Mental Health Minutes. I'm joined with my good friend, Kaylin Sims. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, why did you start playing volleyball? I started playing volleyball because my mom's friend got me into it. Um, I tried all these other sports and nothing had really stuck, but when I started playing volleyball, I just fell in love with it and I've been playing ever since. That's awesome. Okay, what is one thing that you do every day or week that helps you maintain a good mental state? One thing that I do every day or every week is I really just take 30 minutes to like an hour to really reflect on myself, especially towards the end of the week or right before a tournament, just to identify with why I'm doing this and to make sure that my motivations are still good. It's awesome. Cool. Okay, what are you doing whenever you're most at peace mentally? Most likely when I'm most at peace mentally, I'm either reading a book or just working, like, repping through my volleyball skills, just anything to really take stress off of my life. Yeah. What are some of your favorite books? Definitely, I have to say, anything to do with fantasy, but specifically, like, Harry Potter series, those were, like, my childhood, and I still live off of those. That's awesome. Cool. Okay, how do you handle the stress of being a student athlete? Because I know, like, you're so busy with all your camps, and you play on a really good club team, and school, and everything. Like, how do you handle all of it? Yes, so I really try to find a support system, which my mom is a really good support system. I go to her if I'm ever struggling or anything. Mm -hmm. And then my teachers also help me a lot being understanding when I'm out of school, especially because I do multiple sports. So it's really just about finding a good support system and a healthy balance. What other sports do you do besides volleyball? So I run track. I do high jump, triple jump, and long jump. And then I've also run the 4x4 before. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. If you had one like piece of advice to give to younger athletes that would help them with their mental health struggles, what would that be? would definitely be to not let people make volleyball define you. Don't let a volleyball player be all that you are, especially when people start talking about you in relation to volleyball. Make sure that you acknowledge the fact that you're a person outside of the sport that you play and you have your own interests and hobbies. I love that. That's awesome. Okay, what is something that you've learned about mental health that has really helped you throughout your journey? One thing that I've learned is definitely coping strategies in general. When you're having a bad game or if there's any, like, ever anything else going on in your life, just really finding something that calms you down and brings you to peace, something routine that you can do. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really glad we got to talk. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Bye. Bye. Caitlin, thank you so much for joining us. I really enjoyed our conversation. My mental health advice for the day is to take 30 minutes and to really just reflect on how you're doing, your thoughts, whether that's journaling or it's just sitting there and just thinking about, okay, what what's stressing me out right now? What's going well in my life? What am, what am I doing that I can keep doing to keep improving my mental health? Because putting yourself first is so important. And I love how Kaylin said, do not let volleyball define you. Do not let that be your defining factor. You are a human. You are a person. You have goals that don't relate to volleyball. And don't let anyone define you as only a volleyball player because you're so much more than that. Stay kind and have a great day, guys. Bye.